Sharks have a bad reputation when it comes to interactions with humans, but most of it's undeserved. Did you know that every year, cows and horses kill more humans than sharks do? And the vast majority of species pose no threat to us. But the reality is, when we venture into their natural habitat, things can occasionally turn dangerous and for good reasons. Some predatory sharks like to hunt in low light or at night time, using their extremely sensitive nervous system to help locate their prey. Bull sharks, for example, are commonly found in rivers, streams and estuaries, where the water visibility might be poor. So they hunt by detecting vibrations of an animal, which they then follow to the source. Unfortunately, these waterways are where humans like to play as well. And when we splash about, it might accidentally attract the shark's attention. Big sharks eat big prey. And when humans are in the water, sometimes they might be mistaken for their natural food. A swimmer in a wetsuit near a seal colony might be confused for a seal one of the favourite foods of a great white. Tiger sharks prefer turtles, and a surfer paddling on a board with their arms over the front and their legs over the back could look like a turtle from underneath. As apex predators, sharks can eat virtually anything they find in the ocean. If they're hungry and see something in the water, they'll give it a test bite to see whether it's food or not. But with their powerful jaws and razor sharp teeth, this inquiring bite can cause a lot of damage, or even death. So now we know why sharks attack, what can we do to avoid this type of interaction? The first thing is to swim between the red and yellow flags. Lifesavers only patrol at the safest time to swim, and they're always looking out for sharks, and even use drones to make sure they have a good view. If an alarm sounds, get out of the water. Don't swim at dawn or dusk, or any time visibility is low. We want sharks to be able to see us for what we are and not mistake us for food. Likewise, avoid murky water in rivers or canals, especially after it rains, to reduce the chance of bumping into a hungry shark. Steer clear of where prey animals are found, such as seal colonies, turtle breeding grounds, and large schools of bait fish. By understanding how, where, and why sharks hunt their prey, means that if we use our common sense, we can avoid a negative confrontation and be safe. As an intelligent species, we need to learn to live on the planet with all its wonderful creatures, and not try and remove them, as they have a role to play in keeping the ecosystem healthy and vibrant, which ultimately helps keep us alive.